Well, some positive news from the IMF when it comes to the Canadian economy for this year. Haley Wooden with Business in Vancouver is joining us now with more. And I understand there is a growth prediction here. What are we expecting? That's right. The IMF is projecting 5% growth for the Canadian economy in 2021. That is above what the Bank of Canada is projecting at 4% and notably above an earlier IMF projection of 3.6%, making this latest upgrade the largest upgrade the IMF has made for a forecast for an advanced economy. Now, it's important to note there is still so much uncertainty surrounding projections of this nature, especially when we're looking beyond a period of a few months. Progress around vaccinations, according to the IMF, could lead to a further lift in a forecast, whereas any kind of issues around vaccinations or a prolonged pandemic could lead to a downturn. All right, and do we know primarily what they're looking at there for that growth projection? I think they're following a number of different things, including consumer sentiment and whether uh, restrictions are easing across various provinces. We've certainly had a tightening of restrictions in certain provinces, but I think looking beyond that, the IMF is looking to see whether the Canadian economy will generally have a handle on the pandemic by the end of the year and whether there will be any kind of positive impact in terms of consumer spending and business activity. All right. Uh, another story you're following today uh, is making BC proud, and it has to do with EV and the number of EVs on our roads and how we compare with the rest of North America. That's right. BC, according to the provincial government, is actually adopting electric vehicles faster than in any other jurisdiction in North America. Some 20,000 electric vehicles hit BC roads last year. That accounts for about 9.4% of all new light duty vehicle sales in the province, very, very close to the province's target of 10% by 2025. In total, there are more than 54,000 electric vehicles on BC roads. And according to the province, Electric vehicle technology is being used for non-traditional vehicles as well, including motorcycles and e-cargo bikes. Fantastic. Uh, Haley Wooden with Business in Vancouver on this Wednesday. Thank you very much, Haley. Thanks, Sonia.